That last one is true. Uh. <gasps> <laughs> That's a lie? That's a lie. <laughs> Today, you have entered the honesty gauntlet. We shall see All right. if there's going to be any grounding coming up. Daughter versus mother. How does that make you feel? Ooh, I feel good. I don't. I don't even know what he's gonna Yeah, something's here gonna be the first time she's here. Yes! Do you really know each other? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I spent hours making a personalized letter to every single guy I ever had a crush on since elementary school. Mom thought it was weird because I wouldn't tell her what I was doing and I was spending like a lot of time in my room and she thought I was doing and selling drugs. I always pull the moms before the actual crush. Like, I'll get the parents always and the siblings, but the crush is the hard one. <laughs> on my first day of high school, I dropped my books on the ground because my crush was passing by. He walked right past me and he actually stepped on one of my books, so it was a very embarrassing time. Book dropping is not true. Why? Because that's something that I don't think you'll do it. <laughs> it's the lie. It's the lie! You got it, buddy! Every time, we go to dinner with you and mom. I feel like a third wheel. I've been in three relationships. <laughs> One time at Knott's, someone yelled, Lucas is so fine, and I ran away. Oh, I think the lie is the three relationships. He's an open book with us. He's totally there. Yeah, that's the lie. <laughs> 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 Every time we go on dinner where it's just us and my mom, I always feel like a third wheel because it's always them sitting on this side of the table and then me by myself here. <laughs> and they're always like, oh, you're so sweet. I love you so much. And then I'm just sitting there like, I fell in love with the hoe, I dated two boys, or I dated a boy three years older than me. The dating uh, two boys at once, that's the lie. Yeah, <laughs> that's the lie. <laughs> that was quick. Boom! I know she's not like that. Oh. She's loyal. Yeah, I can't so do that. So she wouldn't so. do that. Okay, well, well, what's up with this hoe? <laughs> <laughs> we Yo! had the time of day. <laughs> he can stay in the past. I never let the woman pay for the bill. In my 20s, when I didn't have money for a fancy dinner, I would buy the ingredients and, the, and I would cook for my crush. In my 20s, I only dated available women. I know he never lets a woman pay. I know you love to cook. So I'm gonna have to go with, you dated someone with a boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> I was terrible, I have to say. I dated a lot of girls and I just found out afterwards sometimes before, and uh, that never stopped me. So if they were cheating, they were cheating with you. Yeah, but they were cheating, not me. I saw your mother clear across a crowded room. No. She was looking so hot. Okay, and that's enough. And made me okay, crazy, okay. and I had the chills. Okay. We went on a romantic hot air balloon oh, to celebrate a... our one year anniversary. That is the biggest thing. <laughs> After our first date, I wrote on a napkin to your mother, you will be my wife. The second one is the lie because my mom has the biggest fear of heights ever and would never step foot on a hot air balloon ever in her life. And I already know about the two other stories about him. They went to a club and my mom saw him dancing the Charleston. It was not the Charleston. It definitely was the Charleston. And my mom was not interested at first. Oh. That is such a lie. That was what told you? <laughs> he, oh you know dang gosh. well your mom was not interested in I had in your you mom eating on the palm of my no, hand that no, night. Get out of here. Your father and I ditched your sister and six other kids in a movie theater to go uh, to the car together. When you were very young, your dad surprised me one morning by taking me to Santa Barbara to do wine tasting. I almost passed out on a date when your dad rented bikes and we rode uh, three <laughs> miles around the beach. I think the first one's a lie. Bah, wrong. What? Oh. <laughs> what? You ditched us? Ah! Okay, then the third one. <laughs> That'll be a uh, uh, wrong. Ooh, oh for two, girl. <laughs> Why would you ditch us to go to the car? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Six you were ditched. You were ditched. <laughs> I flirted myself out of a ticket. I ruined the bottom of mom's brand new car. So I went to Home Depot and I bought the paint and I fixed it before you guys got home. <laughs> and I followed my crush home after school. That's something that I don't think you'll do it. So I think the third one's a lie. Incorrect. Incorrect? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, you, you follow the guy? Okay, so this is what you happened. You never do that. I had a crush on this guy <laughs> and he would always say like, 
that he would walk home. And I was like, is your home far? And he's like, no, it's around here. The funny thing is he was walking with his friends. So every once in a while, he would like go into a house and we thought it was his house. I'm like, okay, we can go home. But no, he would continue walking. So we would have to stop at stop signs, go like this so he wouldn't see because he would turn around. I was like, well, now that I know where he lives, I can go on walks and he'll be like, what is Paulina doing here? And maybe I'm like gonna tell you say something. hi or something. I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> Your dad never followed any girl, even though they asked your dad to do. <laughs> I've driven a car illegally. Every time you guys tell me to take a shower after dance, I say I'm going to, but I lie and wait until you yell at me 30 minutes later to go. In the morning, 99% of the time after you wake me up, I fall back asleep and wait until I hear your door open and the footsteps to get out of bed. He's dying to know how to drive, but he's 14, so he's gonna get his permit probably next year. So that's the lie, he's never driven a car. You're wrong. I'm kidding. <laughs> 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 I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I've never driven a car. I pranked my friend by telling her a boy liked her when he actually didn't. I stole money from you, and I stole a lollipop when I was six. The lie is you stole money from me. Yeah. Oh, hands down. <laughs> Mama too. Mama too. Oh, <laughs> I pranked friend. my friend. I did. Confidence wasn't there. She thought she um he didn't like her, and she didn't want to talk to him. I was like, he likes you. He told me. Go talk to him. And they started dating, and they haven't been broken up since. Oh, that's not no prank. You're a little cupid. <laughs> <laughs> When I was a national roar in the 80s, I won a lot of races because I put some medicine water of my opponents. It would give them some uh, <laughs> uncomfortable feeling. Okay. When I was around 30 years old, I was in a car with uh, three guys smoking weed and I was stopped by an officer. We could get away of the ticket because we just denied, but the smell was really strong. When I was 18, I punched a guy's nose because he pushed me and uh, I broke his nose. You obviously never did the thing with the players. That's the lie. Yeah. You would never do that. You would I'm... never harm someone else's performance. Exactly. Ever. Wait, how did you punch a guy's nose? The football team was cutting the line. It was the end of the, the line. So I decided to cut the line because I was very hungry. Everybody was doing. And he said, not to you. And he pushed me over the plates. My blood just uh, boiled mm -hmm. and I punched his nose, but I felt really bad. Three or four days after that, I saw the guy in school and we apologized to each other and we became friends. I want to punch someone's nose once and break it. No, don't do this. <laughs> I was caught drinking and driving and, and was arrested and spent a night in jail. I did some underage drinking at parties when I wasn't supposed to. I was really afraid of doing anything illegal because my parents were strict as hell. The lie is that you got caught drinking and driving. I swear if that's not the lie, I'm gonna kill you. I have never spent a day in jail. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> that is the most irresponsible thing anybody oh, can do. Oh, you're such a good... I know. When I was 12 years old, my aunt caught me stealing money out of her bedroom drawer. I went into CVS, opened a mascara box, took it out, and pushed it up my sleeve. Took the empty box to the cashier and said, I think someone stole the mascara out of the box and it was the last one. She apologized and I got away with it. One time I drove super fast, ran a red light and two stop signs to get your brother to school one time. That last one is true. Uh, <gasps> <laughs> That's a lie? That's how old were you when you stole the mascara? I was grown. So why would you go to the it register? It was silly. And be like, I think someone stole it. Cause that was just in case uh, <laughs> they was watching me or something. I had to think. I had to think fast. That was, <laughs> was your. <laughs> it was your Ocean's Eleven heist. Oh my right? god! I put thought into it. <laughs> like. I like reading and writing Harry Potter fan fiction. I enjoy eating baby food. I like playing with the hair strands in the bathroom wall. Definitely, the lie is the third one. <laughs> She hates hair. We had to share a bathroom. Now, I always saw her hairs on the sink. I didn't know why. I always had to clean, but after a while, she told me she couldn't touch her own hair. I'll literally close my eyes. I can't, like, I'll start shaking if I have to do it. When everyone falls asleep, I get cravings and go to the kitchen and eat, like, all the snacks. I absolutely love any ball sports, like football, baseball, basketball. I absolutely <laughs> love them. Like, they're my favorite thing on this whole entire planet. My comfort show that I've watched 12 times all the way through is Schitt's Creek. I can tell you right now, without even <laughs> listening to anything else, he absolutely 100% hates sports that have to do with balls. Yep, anything, anything. <laughs>
He no. is the most awkward ball thrower in the world. He tried soccer when he was little. And instead of kicking the ball? And he, instead of kicking the ball, I he was cartwheels. flipping in cartwheels. And the yeah. coach would yell at him, Luca, stop flipping. I try to read a little bit every <laughs> I try to read a little bit every day. I love watching the Kardashians and I look up to Kylie Jenner's lifestyle. Oh, that's the lie. What? I'm trying to read. <laughs> uh, a little bit every day. <laughs> Your poker face sucks. <laughs> well, as a lawyer in Brazil for 30 years, I never broke the code and dated a client. When I was 20 years old, I was on the ninth floor of a hotel and a husband knocked on the door asking if I was there with his wife. When I met her mother, we fell in love right away. I'm gonna go with the third one. Like, you didn't f fall in love right away, you had another date? Yes, that's the lie. Hey! Uh, actually, actually, when we met each other, we argued a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what happened in the hotel? Uh, I didn't know she was married. And when oh. the guy started knocking the on the door, and she told me, that's my husband. <laughs> Jump through the window. You just and the I window? said, no. Oh. I, I'm the ninth floor. Eating my midnight snacks. Every night. He makes Oreos, his damn, vanilla, no, he chocolate makes his milk. Damn chocolate milk and gets his little vanilla wafers and goes, sits on the couch. I love the sun and heat and tanning. I love watching shows like The Bachelor, The Bachelorette, and my favorite Bachelor in Paradise. The midnight snacks is true. Okay. The sun is true. And The Bachelor is a lie. Is that your choice? Is yes. that your choice? Okay. We were wrong. Oh, God! What? I absolutely love watching the, especially the Bachelor in Paradise. That is, that we no, just stopped, we lying. just watched it with your mom. He's I love lying. it. Lying? No. Ask your mother if I I'm love that. I'm gonna the call heat. her right now. Does Dad like watching the Bachelor and Bachelor in Paradise with you? Like, does he enjoy it? He hates the Bachelor, but loves Bachelor in Paradise. And I love the the heat and getting hot and tan in the summer. Thank you. I love watching Dateline. Um, it's so informative. Ugh. I love eating uh, trolleys. They're so good. And I love smelling my tissue after I pee. I do it for health reasons. The, the third one is the lie. <laughs> She's, she got one. She got one. Uh, let me tell you about Dateline. <laughs> Every time I try to go out somewhere, I'll go, Mom, can I go to this party or can I go with my friends? Sure. But let me tell you something. Go on Instagram, did you see this girl? She just randomly got hit by a car and her friend set her up, you know, and Dayline always talks about this. You have to be safe where you're going because you never know what to set up. Mom, this guy complimented me. I get he complimented you, but he could be following you and trying to kill you. Dayline. It's so true. Dayline, <laughs> Dayline. It's so true. Ian Somerhalder, the one from the Vampire Diaries. Uh, yeah, I know that guy, you talk a lot about the guy. Louis Patridge, he's a Nanilla Holmes, he's British. And then Timothy Chalamet, he has a trend on TikTok where he goes like this to the song Play Day. Ooh, <laughs> he goes like that. I think it's the third one. <laughs> oh, just straight up. Why do you think it's the third because one? Because the way she described the guy, I don't think that's the her kind of guy. Oh, yeah. nailed I'm it. I'm sorry, I'm, I don't have a crush on Timothy Chalamet. I know your taste for the guys. Definitely the vampire guy is. My first celebrity crush ever was Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. I'm in love with Martha Stewart. <laughs> thing of natural beauty. No, 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 not me. My two celebrity crushes are Zendaya and Timothy Chalamet. Martha Stewart, that's for sure. Without a doubt. Can you write? <laughs> <laughs> no offense, Martha Stewart, but I don't think you're his type. <laughs> I have a crush on Justin Bieber, Michael B. Jordan, and Chris Brown. You picked some good ones, but I would say uh, Justin Bieber was a lie. No! <laughs> yes, it was. Ah! <laughs> oh, I That's love you so Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> uh. Who My doesn't like you Michael know? B. Jordan? He's, he's so fine. Alicia Silverstone, do you know? She was a chef from Clueless. No, but the, the movie that I'm saying is Crush. Madeline Stowe, I don't know if you know, she did a great movie with Kev Costner, Revenge. Jacqueline Bisset. I saw a movie with Nick Note. She did The Bottom of the Sea. I'm gonna go with Alicia is the lion. He's very precise with like old movies and like the way he described the other ones from this movie, from this one. He didn't even know which movie he was talking about. I told about you, movies. she did uh, The Crush. Yeah, but like still, it didn't feel descriptive enough. Don't you wanna change? No. Okay, you got it right. <laughs> I know his type. Nicole Kidman, Soleil Moon Frying, AKA Punky Brewster, a long time ago. And then I have Jennifer Lopez. 
Ah, this is easy. <laughs> this is so easy. <laughs> Me and my mom are the biggest J-Lo fans ever. We want to go see her in concert or anything. He can stand I don't know why. I don't know why. 100% true, 100% true. Chris Brown. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> Lorenz Tate. And Shamara Moore. Shamara Moore. That's the last. Nope. Oh! Uh, <laughs> no! No, then it's Chris Brown! It's Chris no, Brown! No, nothing! It's Chris Brown! It's Chris Brown! I know Lorette's oh. safe. I should've put Lorette's safe. That's my crush, too. Oh my god! On my first day of American school, I got locked in the bathroom by these two girls. I was the only person in my grade who showed up in a Halloween costume. I ran the mile in a pirate costume, and I broke my middle school's theater set two days before the show in front of the teacher. I would say the first one. Because you broke the stage once, you weren't the one with the costume. Okay. I tricked him! Yes. You know why I tricked him? Because that happened to Carolina, it wasn't me! Oh. It wasn't me! We went to a K-8 through school. Carolina was in elementary and I told her, I was like, everyone's wearing a costume because everyone in middle school was in the same school. But elementary wasn't doing it, so she went with the pirate costume and it was a oh day of the my. mile run. This, this is a fair. And so then I did fair. get locked in the bathroom by two girls on my first day in American school. I don't know why they did that, they thought it was funny you, and... You missed a good opportunity to punch somebody's nose. <laughs> you said you wanted, uh-huh. No, kidding. Kidding. I mean, kidding. Okay. I made two half-court shots in eighth grade. In PE, I would always pretend to have gotten hurt and dance to sit out. I never turned in a single missing assignment in my whole middle school years. You said something about basketball that involves a round ball, but that's a total lie. Um, no, you're wrong. Got him! You're wrong. I have video proof that I made two half-court shots Shut in eighth grade. Shut your mouth. Yes. One of them was during PE and Again, I faked being injured to sit out, and my friend Sophia, we sat out together. And when I was bored, I grabbed a ball, and she's like, make a half-court shot. And I just went, yeet! And it bounced like two times, and then it went in. Okay. I skipped class daily to see my situationship. I made out with my situation in the school behind a classroom. And my teachers loved me so much that they always excused me when I wasn't in class. A any of these is about to piss me off. I'm gonna go with number two. That's the lie. Yeah, that's the that's lie. She got you! She know her career will be over. <laughs> <laughs> when I was an exchange student in Minnesota in the 80s, mm -hmm. once I skipped school to go to the lake with my friends because one of my crushes was there, there was a teacher in high school who gave me a lift home and she asked me out when the, the school year would finish. In my first day of high school, I didn't know a word in English, and uh, the recognition ceremony, I got six flowers from possible crushes. I'm gonna go with the lie is the teacher. Yes, the okay, second one. Okay, good, <laughs> good. No teacher asked me out, but I really tricked you, huh? <laughs> yes, yeah, the, 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 like after the hotel one, I don't know what to expect. In Spanish class, as a senior in high school. <laughs> you don't have to finish. <laughs> um, I cheated on the test by taping the answers on the back of the underclassmen and patting them on the back when I needed the answers. You did not do that. I won homecoming king without even trying. And I cheated on tests in school by, by saying answers out loud in Spanish. I could see winning homecoming king. So the lie is that you cheated. I go like this. It's a tie, 2-2. Oh, I got, I got him! him. <laughs> you did? I used to do that all the time, are you kidding me? Dad. I know, I feel bad now. You know who won homecoming king my senior year? He was my teammate. He was the quarterback, and I was, you know, on defensive you know, linebacker. And well, quarterback of always course, wins. Quarterback won with the head cheerleader. <laughs> I used to skip school all the time. Cap. Everyone called me Janet after I performed Pleasant Principal at uh, in my elementary school talent mm -hmm. show. Mm -hmm. One time, I wore a very fancy white gown to school, <laughs> and all eyes were on me. <laughs> I looked amazing, and I knew it. <laughs> Too bad I fell down the stairs in front of the entire class, and I broke my phone, and everybody was laughing. <laughs> the first one's a lie. Cap. Oh. She, she don't do that. I guess I should have said, what school? <laughs> You took oh, yourself Lord. up! So you can't even be mad at me! <laughs> he tells me the same story multiple times instead of telling me these new stories that I did not expect at all. So you gotta start telling me these juicy stories, Dad. What was the most surprising thing about me that you learned? Well, you followed the guy. <laughs> that you were a cheater. Hey, if you ain't cheating, you like, ain't trying. What else did you trick me on? 
You didn't know that he liked The Bachelor. When they're watching the show, this is all I hear of my mom. If you don't want to be here, then leave. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the room and watch TV in that room. I learned that she don't know nothing about me. I learned that she a little freak. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of React. That's the show you're on. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in some other shows here, I, re I reveal some more of my secrets, but uh, for now, that's good. Your mom is gonna lead the day a winner. <laughs> Please, subscribe. Bye. Bye.